Okay, I've set up a, uh, a model here that has been 3D printed to put some targets on it. And this is what I'm going to just scan with the Mark II and see how that behaves inside uh, Neofit. Okay, so now I'm gonna start uh, my, my scanning <clears throat> of the object that I've set up. I'm gonna show you the screen settings that I'm using. Hopefully you can see that. I've chosen not to use high resolution color because I think that's just gonna slow me down. And um, most of the other settings are auto. Exposure is on uh, auto. Uh, and the manual exposures are grayed out because it's on auto. And then the IR analog down to four times. Um, is the setting that I've chosen. So you can play around with those settings, but um, this is what I've got set up for this particular scan. So I'm gonna set up the uh, the bounding box first first off. And I'm gonna start my scan. That looks, looks like it's in about the right position there. Let me just adjust a little bit. And away we go. So I'm gonna come around a little bit this way, just for the camera work and we come back uh, back around this way to get around get behind the object now i'm using an ipad the latest ipad is just a regular ipad though it's a seventh generation ipad so the processor on this is a little bit slower it's an a10x i believe uh, the ipad air and the ipad uh, pro have faster processing speed so this might stitched together a little bit faster on those, I'm not sure, but uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job anyways. And once I'm done, I'm just going to email this to myself, uh, and then I'll show you how it shows up on the on the effect. So that's it. Looks like I've got everything. Just go to the top again. Yep, looks good. Done. So there is the model. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good in, uh, in a nice mesh. And then in color view, there it is. Again, not necessary to, I don't think, to go into high definition color. Uh, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to email that to myself. So here's the model that I emailed myself and put it on the desktop. Uh, I've actually started Neofit. It's running. Here it is. The um, um, a user or client rather um, a case and I'm going to import now import that file that's sitting on my desktop. There it is the scan that I just imported. I'm going to open up that file. And there you go. You can see it. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good representation of, of what um, I just scanned in. You can see diffused colors there. Uh, the colors appear a little bit better when you go to this color overlay uh, button here. And it's just one to the left of the X-ray button or the Y-frame button, I should say. So now you can see uh, actual colors. Now you, you will recall that I did this. I scanned this in using um, low res color. I could have done it with high res, but I, I don't think it would have improved much in any case because the it's the, the color is is related or the diffusion of the color is related to the mesh density that we're using. So if you look at the kind of the center of each one of these things, they're probably within a millimeter or two of of, of the actual location relative to the overall scan. So just to show you that uh, everything is uh, working, I'm just going to crop this scan as usual and do it from kind of, just make sure that we capture all of it. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Uh, apply, let uh, Neofit do its magic, remeshing it and, and closing the envelope. Uh, so we have a, a complete manifold uh, once again, look at it in color. There are the markings on that landmarks. I'm going to align the scan. And uh, so we're looking at the front right now. So I'm going to bring the knee around to the front. And maybe reposition a little bit. And go to the right now and do it from the right. And that looks pretty good. So apply that. 
Um, may do some smoothing at this point very quickly. Um, so I'm just going to smooth the scan a little bit. And I uh, don't want to do too much smoothing because it, it can actually destroy features of the scan. So very quick brush over this model to smooth out certain areas. And let's say I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go and create a model. Um, so from scan to model, now I've got a model. Uh, this is my model, and I can go back to the scan. Uh, let's change that to white. So there's the, uh, that's the color view. And go back to the model, back to the scan. So there you have it. Both are coexisting. Now to show you that everything works all the way through to the end, I'm just going to just drop a simple trim line and uh, apply that and create uh, a socket. So I'm going to generate a socket. And there you have it. So now we have the socket. And you can see that the socket has actually been generated on the on the scan, very quick scan that I just did. So that's it. Um, that's how it works. And hopefully uh, you can get uh, the Mark II scanner working in the same way.